Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Pearly. So today we are going to do another small talk series talking about procrastination or something that that I do all the time and I'm so annoyed by it. Even for this video you are watching right now, I almost couldn't upload it on time because of how much I procrastinated during the scripting phase. Oh, do you know the word procrastination is actually derived from a Latin word meaning to put off for tomorrow? I think procrastination is a really interesting human behavior because by procrastinating, we are basically willingly defer something we think we should be doing even though we expect the delay to make us worse off. And I also think it is perplexing because by procrastinating, we are trying to avoid unpleasant tasks or unpleasant feelings, right? However, indulging in it generally doesn't make us happy. Let me first share with you different scenarios of me procrastinating and what I think are the causes of it. So first of all, I procrastinate on things that don't have a deadline. For example, language learning. It is so embarrassing to say because based on my videos, it might seem that I'm always so motivated to learn languages, but that's not really the case for all the languages that I'm learning right now. I'm not learning them for the sake of passing the exams or for immigration purposes, etc. So when there is a lack of urgency, my brain just automatically gave in and want me to stay out of discomfort, you know, having to learn new words, making sentences, learning about the pronunciation, etc. My brain just keep me in the state of pleasure. Or I would just tell myself, I'll do it later because I'm going to do other more urgent tasks first. But most of the time, I end up not getting to language learning before I go to bed. Secondly, I also procrastinate a lot on things that I find difficult or that make me feel stressful. One example of this is scripting my YouTube videos. Although I do have a deadline, I do have a posting schedule, I have the tendency to procrastinate it till the last minute because it's just really hard to convince my brand to choose the pen, you know, having to work on difficult things over keeping myself in the state of pleasure by avoiding it, by not doing it. Thirdly, I also procrastinate on things when I'm afraid of the outcome, when I'm afraid of failing or when I'm afraid that it won't be perfect. For example, I wanted to start seriously managing and posting on my Instagram account since the beginning of this year. But I don't know, when I saw my posts or reels not receiving many likes or views, it's just really scary and disappointing to face. When I'm not really trying, at least I can justify my poor performance by saying that, yeah, I'm just not really serious in it. But when I treat it seriously and still don't perform well, I cannot use that excuse anymore. And it's scary, to be honest. Fourthly, I also procrastinate on big projects. For example, I have been thinking about building my own website since the beginning of this year. But as you can see, I still don't have one. I think it's just so overwhelming and demotivating when I just couldn't see clearly what I need to do. So I just end up procrastinating on it. Lastly, I also procrastinate on things 
things that I'm not so sure whether I want to do or what's the point of doing it. An example of this is building my own language learning course. I've even asked you guys around like three months ago what kind of topics you would be interested in, right? Well, I guess I haven't fully yet convinced myself what's the point of doing it because I feel like I can already offer many things for free on my YouTube channel. So do people really need another language learning course from me? Uh, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Bomba, now you know all the scenarios of me procrastinating. Did you notice that besides the last one, all the other scenarios have something to do with my emotions, such as feeling uncomfortable, overwhelmed, or scared. It's really eye-opening when I learned that procrastination is not really a time management problem, but an emotional regulation problem. I used to think that the reason I procrastinate is because I didn't prioritize my task, I didn't set goals or I didn't use Pomodoro technique, etc, etc. So I tried out all different kinds of time management techniques. Some of them did help me a little bit, I think, but none of them is really long lasting. I just feel like I'm not really addressing the root cause of it. But when I learned that procrastination means we fail to manage our emotions, not our time, it kind of all makes sense to me now. Let me take the example of procrastinating on scripting my YouTube videos again to illustrate this. So instead of dealing with the feelings of stress and being overwhelmed by the difficult tasks, I avoided because of how I felt. But my emotions didn't go away, right? I just added more stress as I watched my to-do list piled up. And when we are under stress and experiencing negative emotions, it just makes us want to procrastinate even more and more and it becomes a vicious cycle. And the momentary relief we feel when we procrastinate is actually what makes the cycle especially vicious because in the immediate present, we have rewarded ourselves with relief by putting off a task. I find a concept called the present bias to be very interesting. It means our tendency to prioritize short-term needs ahead of long-term ones. According to Dr. Hirschfeld, quote, on a neural level, we perceive our future selves more like strangers than as parts of ourselves. When we procrastinate, parts of our brands actually think that the tasks we are putting off and the accompanying negative feelings that await us on the other side are somebody else's problem. So after learning that procrastination is a problem of emotional regulation, I told myself, huh, Pearly, if you can manage your emotions better, then you can stay on task. Yeah, because if I'm in a bad mood to start with, or I always associate certain tasks with negative emotions, then it's just so likely that I will keep procrastinating on it. So how can we win this emotional battle with ourselves? I'm going to share with you how I'm planning to fight this battle as I'm still learning to manage my emotions. So if you also struggle with procrastination, then let's do it together, okay? Fighting! 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 So I divide my emotion focus strategies into short-term and long-term plans. So what are my short-term plans? Firstly, I'll re-examine my to-do list and make it shorter for sure. I found myself committing a fallacy called the planning fallacy where I constantly underestimate how much time I will need to complete a given task because I always forget to account for unforeseen problems or accidents that might occur. And when I constantly couldn't finish my to-do list, it just makes me feel stressful and overwhelmed. And these negative emotions just makes me want to procrastinate even more and more and it creates a vicious cycle as you can see. Secondly, 
I'm going to make the tasks that I find difficult more enjoyable so that I won't procrastinate on them. Recently, I started to listen to my favorite music while scripting my YouTube videos. Actually, I used to judge myself doing it a lot because I feel like I wasn't focused enough or I'm not treating it seriously enough by doing it. But listening to music does make the tough process more enjoyable. And sometimes I even look forward to doing it if I have the music with me. Listening to music will not work for all the difficult tasks that I encounter, but I'm pretty sure that I will find other ways to make the difficult task more enjoyable. So, yeah, my goal is to make the task that I find difficult more enjoyable. Hi, Tim! Thirdly, for the big projects that I find overwhelming, I'm definitely going to learn to break them down into smaller chunks. To be honest, I always find doing it so time consuming, so I didn't bother to do it. But when we couldn't see clearly what we need to do, it's just so easy to feel lost and anxious and overwhelmed. So we end up procrastinating on it. So not only am I going to learn to break big projects down, into smaller pieces, I'm also going to make my next step super, super clear. So it will lower the barrier to starting and my brain will be happier in this case, making it much less likely that I will procrastinate on it. Lastly, I'm going to reward myself whenever I deserve it. Whether it's a cookie break or a watching K-drama break. To be honest, when I have too many things to do, I feel so guilty giving myself a break. So I just keep working without taking one. But I found it to be super unhealthy in the long run. By not rewarding myself when needed, my negative emotions just piled up and I end up hating the tasks I'm doing more and more so pearly don't forget to reward yourself when you deserve it so what are my long-term plans when it comes to fighting this emotional battle? So firstly, practice self-compassion and be kind to myself. The thing is, procrastination often leads to harsh self-criticism, which can further demotivate us and perpetuate the cycle of procrastination. So I think it's really important to forgive ourselves when we procrastinate so that we can build a positive cycle where kindness leads to a better emotional state which in turn will motivate us to do our tasks. Secondly, I also think self-awareness is very critical when it comes to fighting this emotional battle with ourselves. I'll learn to be more aware of what I'm thinking and what emotions I'm experiencing. I think it will help me to develop a more reflective approach instead of just avoiding it or amplifying my emotions. I will learn to understand them and figure out what specific situations, feelings, or thoughts trigger my procrastination. I think to practice self-awareness and mindfulness, it would be very helpful to start journaling, something that I have procrastinating on for so long. But right now, I'm going to go figure out why I keep avoiding it and hopefully I can start journaling soon. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. I hope you like it. I hope you find it helpful and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye! Bye-bye!